Hi guys, how you all doing? Just thought I'd do a quick video on lineman's pliers and what exactly a lineman's pliers is. Now you might think, well, that's a pretty stupid video to do because we're all well aware of what a lineman's pliers is. Well, that's if you're watching in America. If you work in the UK or in Europe, then we really don't use lineman's pliers at all. Now, I've been quite intrigued by lineman's pliers. I've been wanting to get one for absolutely ages, and I finally bitten the bullet and got one, because over in the UK they are pretty expensive to buy, to be fair. So I've bitten the bullet and got one. Now, what we use in the UK is something typically like this. So this is a combination pliers. And these are quite often advertised as lineman's pliers, but they're not. A combination pliers is completely different. So this is the typical size of a combination pliers. This one is a 180, uh, 180 millimeters from the tip there to the end. And they don't generally get much bigger than this. Um, you normally, they normally top at about 200, 225, something like that. Um, and you know, that that is quite a common size to have. They don't generally get too much bigger. You can get big, you can get like 250 and things like that. Um, but people don't tend to buy too much more than that. So this is a combination pliers. Now, another easy mistake to make is, just find one it's back here. So uh, this is a uh, Klein. Um, this is a uh, 225 uh, mill combination pliers but again it's still a combination plier now i'll show you what i mean by this if i put these both on the floor you can see the one is a fair bit larger than the other one but there's not like a massive difference in it, is it? especially in the head there there's not too much of a difference um, even between these uh, different sizes now if i actually get out the lineman's pliers i'll show you the difference this is a lineman's pliers so you can see there is quite the difference in size, especially in the actual head there. Um, let's just put these together like this. Now alignment's pliers is generally, typically about 240 mil from the tip of the snout to the bottom of the handle. Um, this one is a sort of uh, entry level lineman's pliers. You can get cheaper ones than this as well, with like the dipped handles and stuff. So, this one's got a comfort grip on it, but um, it is an entry level one. Most of them will have on the back like a fish tape puller, which again is something we don't use that often in the UK. And they may have a crimpers, much like this has got here. I didn't go for that because I don't use fish tape, and I've already got the crimpers on there and on other tools as well bring this one in as well in fact the same make just so we can see the difference in them so the Americans use a far far larger thing what we usually use there's also a bit of a difference in as well the combination pliers they tend to have sort of like a flat edge on them and the end like that it's just sort of it struggles for us you can see the end there is pretty much um, if I can just get us to focus sorry It's not going to happen. The end on these, take more word for it. Then the end on these is uh, is sort of made of straight lines on the edge there. I don't know if you can see that very well. Whereas alignments pliers, the end is far more sort of uh, ser it's, it's far more sort of serrated and it's sort of like a criss a sort of crisscross action on that. Also, on a on a combination pliers, you get this sort of area here for like gripping bolts and things like that which you don't get in alignments pliers, you just get a blade all the way up there. And the blade on alignments pliers, you do get the blade on the on the combination pliers as well, but the blade on alignments pliers is far stronger. That'll cut metal and things, whereas these won't. They've got smaller, more sort of delicate heads on them than alignments pliers. So also the alignments pliers will generally have like a reaming edge on here as well. Um, and that edge there is for sort of holding on to nails and pulling nails other things. So altogether, really, they are just a, a far stronger tool in general. So, uh, yeah, that's the basic differences then, really, between our lineman's pliers and our combination pliers. I see so many of these tools advertised as, combi as lineman's pliers um, or lineman's combination pliers, even when they're actually not, they just, they are completely different tools. So I've bought one of these. Um, I don't know any of my friends or any of my colleagues who have one of these. So I just thought I'd uh, bring it to the UK attention 
um, show you what these are and hopefully it'll stop people calling them linemen stop people calling these linemen players when they're not um, in the UK we don't have this issue we just call them combination players but you go into Amazon or anything like that and you ask for some you know you put in yeah combination players um, and you know these will all come up but sometimes you put in linemen's players you'll have a few of these most will be imported from America and then you'll have linemen's combination players and they'll just be things like this but they're not the same thing different tools different purposes um, but we sort of use these instead of these in the UK but I thought well I don't want to do that I'm gonna get myself one of these so um, this is my tool bag here so my next video I'm gonna do a little tool bag tour of everything I've got in there and uh, we'll go through that and uh, Thank you for watching this uh, short video um, on the linemen's pliers. Um, this one, by the way, um, if you're interested, is a Kinebeck 09-02240. The higher up the range one, you can get a 09-12240, uh, which has the fishtail puller and the and the crimpers on them. And you can also get a 09-08240, um, which has got the VD handles on it, uh, the electric safe handles uh, like these on it as well um I'm, that would be with this this style i'm not entirely sure um what the what the number is for the ones with the fishtail puller as well and the vd handles i'm not quite sure about that um but yeah this is um this is what's classed as an old england head as well i don't know what that means but that's what they call this an old england head um so yeah so this is it this is it then uh this is the kniebex version um as is this and we've got the clients here so I uh, just thought I'd show you those and I uh, hope you found this video of interest and uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you very much.